One minute until deadline, journals. Typey, typey. Almost done, almost done. Help, I need a better lead. What about they must call cruise control for a reason? Perf, you are the best, Rebecca. How does my article look? You buried your lead. Switch the first two paragraphs and put it on paper. I knew I should have wore a tank top today. <laughs> Quick, chaos review. Mini title now. Have you tried chaos theory? Ooh, me like it. Rebecca, I need a word that means ew. Repugnant. No, repugnant's more of a yuck. Abhorrent. Love it. <laughs> what? No, not yet. Your article's late. Everyone else's is too. Not from where I'm looking. Drop my name anytime. <laughs> One apple pear protein blaster, please. Wow, I'm celebrating. Yep, celebrating. It's celebration time. <laughs> Is it just me or are these stools uncomfortable? Wait, maybe it's because I'm sitting on a giant story. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, dude. <sighs> Ma'am, is it just me or are these stools really uncomfortable? Maybe it's because I'm sitting on a giant story. <laughs> You're ruining my moment. I have a huge secret. Don't tell me. Dude, I can't keep a secret to save my life. In fact, I even wanted to keep that a secret. I'm sorry, I gotta tell someone that I just found out that... <laughs> and then she was caught without her plastic face mask. She said, and I snaggled to dragon breath. A slippery scoop this big is gonna put Team Buzz on the map. It's already on the map. How do you think I get to work every day? <laughs> Just remember, this has got to stay secret until I break this story. What's up? Listen, DJ, I know my articles were late today, but it's only because I was trying to help everyone else, which is why I think I should get more recognition. Uh-huh. Unless you think I shouldn't, which is fine too. I don't want you to think I don't appreciate this opportunity, because I do. Knock, knock, who's there? Opportunity, <laughs> come in. I've made borscht. <laughs> okay, you can get more recognition. Really? You deserve it. What do you think about being my junior editor for the week? You can help me proof stories, monitor deadlines, and tutor Cody Herman. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, Cody's TV column leaves something to be desired. For example, here's his review on Chimps Ahoy. Book was better? <laughs> he likes to do them in three words or less. So, can you work with him? I'm not expecting any miracles. A fourth word will do. I'm on it, DJ. Okay. Oh, and Rebecca, don't let him know I asked you. I don't think you'd be good for his ego. Gotcha. Okay, thanks. I can't believe it. You break one Fabergé egg. Mmm, the kind with the solid chocolate yolk? No, the kind with the solid gold yolk. Wow, Easter's a lot different at your house. It's a priceless jeweled egg. The kind my stepmom wants to bring out whenever she wants to flaunt our wealth. My mom just takes off the plastic sofa covers. If she didn't want it to break, she shouldn't have left it lying around in an ornate glass display case which I also broke. <laughs> now Daddy says he's bailed me out for the last time. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it still works. The 
this is too much. I can't keep this secret. I have to blab. It's bigger than both of us. But no, I can't. I promised Michael his cover story depends on it. I know. I'll go outside and yell it in the sky. No one will ever know. No, can't make it. Secret oozing. Battery lowering. Oh, oh. You. You look like a trustworthy person. I just found out that. She was caught without a plastic face mask. And then she said, nice snaggle do dragon breath. <laughs> uh, Cute story, kid. Oh, you're Judy King from Entertainment Wow. Uh, oh, you're Judy King from Entertainment Wow. I'll have the studio send you a glossy kid. You can't tell anyone, please. What's with the typewriter? You ever heard of a typewriter virus? No. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and you are? Rebecca Harper. We've actually met before, plus we see each other every day. I only remember important people. The name's Cody Herman, but my friends call me the Herman. Um, okay, Herman. I was thinking that maybe you and I could work together as peer editors. I'm marginally listening. I could look over your articles, give you suggestions, and you could look over mine. Peer editors, huh? <laughs> Looks like uh, someone's trying to form an alliance. <laughs> so they don't get voted off. You can get voted off? That was a joke. <laughs> you want to work together? Fine, I guess. I mean, I can't blame you for wanting to work with the Herman. Cool. So here's my... Sub, 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 sub. Oh, P-U. Sub, 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 sub. Ouch. You were right, Rebex. This needs a lot of work. It's a, it's a good thing you came to me. Amanda, it's fine, really. I'm glad you think so. Besides, I'm sure you can do some cheers and buy a new one. Cheers? You know, when kids do work around the house and their parents give them money. Oh, uh, you mean chores. Ew. Even the word sounds dirty. Anywho, I'm sure it won't take you too long. Your guitar definitely didn't look expensive. Amanda, just because I haven't called your dad yet does not mean you're off the hook. What am I supposed to do? Well, in this situation, sitcom protocol dictates that the person higher status, that would be uh, you, rich girl, <laughs> must relinquish all power and act as personal assistant or gopher to the person with the lower status. That would be you, smug guy. And as my gopher. <laughs> That's great. You'll need a uh, small, funny hand prop. <laughs> you found me just in time. How many mistakes can you find? It's only 100 words. <laughs> Hello, gopher. Could you get me a blueberry smoothie? No. I'm gonna call your dad, Ben. Whatever. I'm dialing. Fine, fine, <laughs> going. <sighs> Get me a blueberry smoothie while hopping on one foot. <laughs> hop, hop, daddy's girl. <laughs> and squawk like Pogo the parrot while bopping your head. This is gonna be fun. Nothing like a little entertainment. Well, lunchtime edition. E Wow is really sinking its teeth into this story. What the? Hot without a plastic face mask. And then she said, nice snaggle tooth, dragon breath. No! 
My scoop has been sob scooped. Who is to blame for this unparalleled breach of trust? You! Howie Mandel's people called my people for an interview, but uh, I said no deal. <laughs> that never happened, did it? <laughs> Let's get back to your reviews. Rebecca, you can drop the concerned peer act. I know what's really going on here. You do? Of course. And I just wanted to put an end to this charade and say, yes, we can go on a date already. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, come on, Bex, we've both seen this episode before. You cute but awkward. <laughs> Helping me, classic teen heartthrob, when we both know my reviews don't need any help. <laughs> Admit it, you want the her man to be your man. For your information, Herman, I don't want to go on a date with you, which has nothing to do with the fact that I'm not allowed to date. What's a romantic comedy without a few obstacles? We are not a romantic comedy. In fact, I'm only here because DJ thinks your articles need help. I see. Good. You're playing hard to get, and I like it. Oh, yeah? Well, I hope you like this. <laughs> Ending on a physical gag before storming out. I totally saw that coming.